welcome back. Today I'm going to be covering the camp prior to Corinth. So I'm going to be setting up a fourth core, mostly for ease of swapping things around. I'm going to switch the general out later. Oh, before I do that, uh, continue maxing econ. I'm going to buy an officer, so might as well save the money. So we're going to add one more division here to hold units. We're not going to be bringing the cavalry with us. It can be sort of useful in hunting down some skirmishers, but most of the map is too tight for them to be useful. Let's see. We're going to move out more of our weaker units. We'll reconstruct them for Fredericksburg. But before that, might as well have them sitting there for the slight scaling bonus it'll give us. And I'm going to be fairly artillery heavy again. I'm only going to be bringing 8 infantry to this battle. Uh, mostly because I want to be able to deal with the enemy artillery as soon as possible. So you need to find you need at least two to three units to get down the enemy artillery in, in a reasonable time frame because these are all going to be around 400, 500. Okay, so this infantry can all stay. We're gonna so I'm going to end up using some of my more, some of my units from my, I guess my worst core. Um, my first two cores are in pretty good shape. They're either two thirds or half two star units. Um, this is the first time I've actually had basically three full cores set up prior to Fredericksburg, so we're probably going to be defending all three flanks, uh, well, mostly the Mary's Heights and, uh, Prospect Hill, because if you just defend those, there isn't much left at, um, Telegraph Road. Let's see, I need, need one more unit. Sure, we'll grab these guys. I'm not sure if I need two of them. Okay, yeah, that's right. Eight infantry, five artillery, two snipers. So I am going to swap out... I'm going to swap around some of the artillery. I'm going to put my... For the, I'm going to put my best units with the counter-battery artillery I have. Uh, just because that'll bring down the enemy artillery a little bit faster. And the 24-pounders are sort of going to be in a supplementary role. They don't need to do as much in this battle. It's probably close to the last time I put veterans in this unit until I increase the size of it, which I'm not sure if that'll probably be a while. Yes, sir. But we'll do one one more set, and then we can pretty much just put rookies in there again. That's the 24 pounder, that's the 24 pounder. Okay, so you can be, yeah, you have what I want. Weapon wise, we don't need to do much. Um, also, I'm gonna be putting in a few less recruits this, uh, sorry, veterans this time around. Uh, I was talking with something Compass and he pointed out that I have actually been spending quite a bit on veterans, which is why I don't have much of a money backlog. Um, the good news is, is most of my units are around where I want them, which is mid to low to mid two-star range. Uh, so I can start putting a lot more money into uh, other things, or just back uh, backlogging it, rather than keep putting veterans in, because I don't really want to get to three-star units anyways; they're just too expensive. So a lot yes, of sir. these, 
These will, this will be tr pretty cheap to do one way or the other. But where we can, we're just going to put recruits in. Okay, I think we can upgrade weapons for you. Okay, we'd have to buy more of those. Start upgrading these units to Harper's Ferries. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. We'll put like twenty five hundred in yes, you. Sir. Strength. We can get the star if we switch the officer out. I think we need gonna need to put some in there to hold it, I think. Oh, whoops. Went higher than I need to. Oh well. Uh I can't remember if I already did this. I think so. Always good to double check though. Fields are fine for you. And now we're gonna do we're gonna get extra stars on both of these guys. So I'm gonna need a spare officer. Sure, we'll grab you. I'm gonna keep using Johnston as my main uh, side battle general just because he has the perks I need. I don't know what I'm going to do with Lee yet. I might turn him into a full speed general or something. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up using it, though. And now Lee can go on here and give me the third star. And you'll notice I'm not using this unit. Uh, this unit is basically maxed out, um, though I took no, a ton of losses at NTDM than I shouldn't have, which is actually going to cause me a few problems at Fredericksburg because I'm not going to have enough uh, scoped rifles to equip, or enough of the Whitworth TSs to equip three full units. I'm only going to have enough for two. Uh, so the downside of taking losses here, maybe I should have bought some uh, normal Whitworths, but we'll deal with that later. Uh, but yeah, these guys are pretty much maxed out, so putting them into side battles is pretty much pointless unless I need them to deal with a specific problem. Uh, for example, that's why I'm bringing these guys. But, okay, so we've got the three st third star. Put veterans in, but that's pretty close to the last time we'll need to do that with these guys. Unless we screw up and lose a lot more. Put the Major General here. Okay. So we're pretty much set. We'll just cap out supply here. And th this will end up changing later on. Like, I won't be using a full rate lieutenant general for units like this, probably. Uh, but it's convenient because it gives the absolute maximum amount of bonus towards getting a perk. So it'll be useful here. Uh, I guess the other thing to comment on is uh, you can see I'm pulling in a mixture of new and more experienced units. Uh, there's uh, there's two philosophies on how you handle side battles, which is either you, you, I guess you could bring in fresh units, completely fresh units, just to rank them up for a future battle. You could bring all your experienced units to be as effective as possible to, you know, maximize your kill ratios. Uh, or you could use some sort of combination thereof. Uh, you probably noticed that I use some some combination of all three of those. Uh, in this one, I have a couple units to soak up casualties and rank up a little bit, um, and then a couple more experienced units to do damage where I know they aren't going to get hit. Uh, I'm probably going to keep cy cycling in newer units just because I don't like I don't want to get these units to three stars early, so. There's not a whole lot of benefit to bring them to the side battles if I don't need to. Um, you know, I'll keep rotating the artillery and snipers through to get them all the three stars as soon as possible. Uh, but the infantry just kind of 
do their own thing and they're good enough. Uh, and I guess one other note is you'll see I have a giant stack of generals here, but I'm waiting to finish upgrading econ and then I'll start buying those just to save a little bit of money. Okay, so to take a brief look. Let's see, after the last one, we got a double reinforcement. But this is pretty good. And I, we didn't touch scaling very much at all, so we're going to be outnumbered like usual, but this will end up going pretty well. Alright, so that was camp. I will be back with the, uh, with the battle.